And so Pepe is really interesting. We'll see the chart. Apparently, at the moment, um, <laughs> it's quite impressive. I remember talking about this earlier and just seeing some interesting moves. And so what you can do is that you go to the seven day on the who bought or this look seems new. Sorry. So we are shipping an awful lot at the moment. And this seems to be a new update. And I'm going to play around with it in real time with you guys to show you how I would use it. So by the looks of things, this is a custom date for who bought and who sold. And so what I'm really interested in now is, so if we look into the chart here, is it a month? The last month. Okay, cool. So what we see here is that between the 13th, let's say 14th of April to the 20th of April, there was a big dip. And now the price is up significantly. And that was beyond seven days. So I want to see who the biggest buyers are for this and see who they are and what else they're trading. Okay, that's quite cool. So I said the 14th of April and the 20th of April. So I would enter here, we go to the 14th and then we end date would be the 20th. So this is a new feature. I'm not aware of it. I'm first time playing around with it. So one of the cool things about office hours is that we play around with things. If you have any feedback for us, please share with us. We might find bugs, we might find new features, we might find new workflows, we might find all sorts of interesting things. And that's the really cool thing about office hours. And of course, if you have any questions for us, please throw it away. The who bought and who sold widget is probably one of my most favorite parts of Nance at the moment for doing token discovery, address discovery, being able to create uh, my own smart alerts and be able to watch what's going on in the market. If you want and you're interested in this, I can definitely do an episode of office hours on this particularly. And we have this across various networks like base, which is quite hot at the moment. And so what I've done here is set that custom time frame, and I'm going to press save. I'll see if it works and it does work. This is cool. So what we've done now is we've set a custom date range to look at the top buyers between the 14th of April and the 20th of April. Why this is interesting is because now I can look and do some back date testing to discover interesting addresses that may be highly profitable. And if they're highly profitable, we want to know who they are and we want to see what they're doing so we can see when they're making moves in real time and use that information to our advantage. So what you do here is that you can hover over some of the feedback that we've had so far with um, new PNL from our professional subscribers is to include PNL in the hover. So you don't even need to dive into the address. So again, it's making that whole process a lot smoother for you when you're doing your research. This address is worth 6 million. They bought $287,000 worth of Pepe. I'm gonna press command and then click. So when I press command click, it opens up a new tab and that allows me to stay on the dashboard that I'm looking at and continue doing my research and going through addresses. So again, the 90 day smart dex trader, I'm interested in that. This millionaire here, let it load. Again, interested in this. I'm not interested in this address here because it's not labeled much. So maybe it's just a one off occasion. Uh, this address here, because it's an ENS and their value is quite significant relative to the bolt. So maybe they made a big, big trade here. And then I'm also gonna look at this high balance address here. And again, command click. So just to recap where we're at, we're using token god mode to discover interesting tokens. We look at Pepe particularly because we saw that on the smart money token inflow. I'm choosing it as a random token. Again, everything on office hours is not financial advice. I'm just showing you on-chain data to help you understand what's going on-chain. And you can use the on-chain data to make decisions for yourself. And so I just discovered that we have a custom date range, something that I've actually personally requested because I want to be able to back dates and the top buyers and sellers. And we've managed to set it when Pepe was having a recent dip between the 14th of April and the 20th of April. And we did that by clicking on this uh, emblem here. So we zoom out six months, that was a big dip. So if they've bought, managed to buy here, maybe a first time buyer or a new time, or maybe they're adding to their position, this could be considered smart. And if it is considered smart, we want to know about it and we want to use that information to our advantage. I then looked at the top buyers and press command click to open up new tabs. And so now the next step is to look at these addresses and see if they're interesting or actionable. So the first address is this active token millionaire. So I'm just going to share my tab here. And that's an interesting portfolio. <laughs> I find this to be very interesting. Um, GM, GM, Tommy, nice to have you here. And uh, it's nice to have everyone here. Um, if you like the time for office hours, we can do it this time. I mean, it's been pretty chaotic in London at the moment. So uh, 
it's like a very last minute thing today. Um, and now we're just looking into tokens and how you can discover highly profitable addresses. So we've gone to this address here. We're going to see the token balances. We can see that uh, wrapped ETH is the highest balance. And judging by the fact that it's taking a while to load up the data here, I imagine this address has a lot of transactions. So it might be a bot. And if we look at their activity, it looks pretty chaotic. So I'm just going to go to PNL quickly. And so this is one of the things that is like indicator to see the usage. I find that addresses that are making consistent transactions all the time throughout the day, nonstop. Addresses typically be bots. Um, and they're very difficult to stay updated to because the, the way that they make moves in the market is going to be different from, let's say, an individual. So if you don't have that bot or the tool, then it's not something that you can stay on top of. And so, so far, we can see that their biggest win by the looks of things is the token all where they've made 56 million. <laughs> I'll see what the data says there. Um, I'll tell you what, while that loads, I am going to, oh, here we go. It's loaded. So that's wrong. There's a bug. I'm going to unrealized here. And we're just having a look to see what they've done. So I'll wait for that to load. I'll go into the smart Dex trader. So boom, I'm going to switch over here. So this is an address that we found. And now we're going to do some research into deciding whether or not this is actionable. And if it is actionable, what actions we need to take. So we can see their portfolio has grown significantly. Their biggest holding is in Pepe. So significant especially when we look at the context we were particularly looking into the dates between april and uh was it april, like between the 14th of april and the 20th of april so if they're adding to that position that is very bullish potentially they hold other tokens they've had some relatively decent wins here 50 percent here 70 percent here it's good um tommy no pnl isn't live just yet pnl is coming live very very soon so this is this feature here that i'm just loading up now it's going to be coming live in about two weeks um, and it's going to be multi-chain. One of the big things at the moment with Nansen is everything is going multi-chain, um, which is really, really cool. I'm very excited about this. You've got smart alerts, signals, and so on from there. Can you search for wallets by a winning rate percentage? You can't. And the reason for this is that I was speaking to someone internally about this uh, earlier today. Um, and he was saying there's so many wallets, you have to try and bring them together. Um, like we're talking millions of addresses on just Ethereum alone. So it's so much data that it's just not feasible for us to just show wallets for winning by winning rate. But a good way to look at to discover addresses would be to either back test token movements through the who bought widget um, or looking at smart money and seeing some of these top addresses and also just looking at tokens that may have had a really big price movement over, let's say, uh, the last month, last three months and then see who the top holders are and then kind of go from there. And the more that you use Nansen, the more you can see these interesting addresses and then you can kind of see what's going on there. I think there could be something there at the top 100. There's a few ideas that I have internally about, I have, I'm gonna share them internally about what we can do. Um, but for now, I don't think there's anything there. We spent a lot of time on the PNL and uh, we're still testing it out. And I think there is a lot here in being able to understand what is going on. There is something actually in terms of the PL now I think about it that we're going to be doing for tokens and there's going to be like a leaderboard potentially. So if you're familiar with Nansen One, we used to have a dashboard like which would have been like here, and that would show you the PL or some of these addresses that are doing well and their token holdings and so on. It's still in the earlier stages, but what we're effectively looking at potentially building is a PL leaderboard for these addresses, and this will cover both realized and importantly unrealized gains. And then from there, you can probably use that to surface interesting addresses, set up custom labels, set up smart alerts, and allows you to kind of get that edge in the market. So if you're seeing addresses with significant unrealized profit, you can use that as a way to track as maybe a sell indicator if they're selling, maybe if they're buying even more, that could be a buy indicator, but it's a case by case basis, and you would have to see what the data is showing again. Now, this is financial advice. So we look at this 90 day smart Dex trader. They turn 38K into 50K, 32K profit. I'm going to go to unrealized profit here to see where, where they're at. I'm just wait for this to load. I'm going to see 55%, nothing else too major here. And so what I'm going to do now is right click and go to wallet profile of a token. Wallet profile of a token tells us everything we need to know about the token, the address and the token. We're making some improvements here to integrate the new PNL and also just the visual changes to make it even better. And so let's scroll down here and see what they were doing. And we can see that they were selling at points and they're buying and they've been buying quite aggressively. And they recently bought some more. 
although it looks like they're providing LP actually. So they've been quite aggressive. They are bidding Pepe quite interestingly. So if I were to be someone who's interested in this address, what I would do is then go to manage labels and then create a custom label. Maybe I'll set up a smart alert. One of the workflows that I really want to highlight soon when we have multi-chain smart alerts is how you can create custom labels. And then based on those custom labels, you can then set up a smart alert for that uh, custom label. And so what this effectively allows you to do is to have your own smart money or your own meme coin traders or your own DeFi traders or whatever you want it to be. And then have that manage update wherever you find new addresses, you can get them that uh, label, custom label, and then they'll update the smart alert. So you can see what's going on in real time with this. And I think that's really, really powerful. I use it already on Ethereum for a bunch of different things. Maybe I find a signal where some funds have moved from a, from like a fund to different wallets. And I've labeled all those new wallets, those fresh wallets. So if I do move funds to an exchange, then I can use that as an indicator to make a decision on what's going on and where I can take market action. So in this case, going back down to discovering interesting addresses, this address hasn't made too much money recently. And Pepe, they're quite bullish on. So if I was interested in this, I would set up a label from here. But let's move on to the next address here. So we share the tab here, blah, 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 blah. We can see they're a millionaire and the trade highlights aren't that significant. So again, not that interesting. But this address on the other hand looks more interesting. And if we scroll down, we can see that Andy, they're up by over 100% on render, a token that we're going to look into later today. Um, because we've had some requests into some AI tokens. They're, they made over 220% on Apu, 37%. That meme coin's fly, flown, and I think we've covered it a few times now in office hours. Like, hi, oh, this is token that we've seen. Um, so, yeah, it was really interesting to see it just pop through. And if we look at their portfolio, they're absolutely in Pepe, like no tomorrow, and they're hoping to make it big. So, let's see what the unrealized PL is. And I think this might be something that's a bit more actionable. So, we can see the average return on investment is quite low. They have a better than 50% win rate, which is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's better than losing money all the time <laughs> and then we go to unrealized gains here so again pnl isn't live just yet but it is coming up soon and about two weeks is what i've been told and then we'll be able to explore all these different addresses and be able to do some research on these tokens and so on and forth and we see pepe they're up 50 percent, which is pretty cool because if we go back down to what we started with what we did is we went to token god mode for the token that we we're interested in for the example we used pepe we went to this little widget here to so set up a custom date and we set the date between the 14th of April to the 20th of April. And what we did there is then find the top buyers. And then from there, we went through some of these addresses and we've now found an address here that is up 50% in unrealized gains. So they bought the dip and they're now up substantially because of this. So this is something that I would say is interesting. So you're going to ask me, Hey, that's an intern. What do we do? I'm glad you're asking. So I'd go to overview and I'd go to manage labels and the token that I'm interested in. So for what I do for best practice, I always kind of say, if there's a, an address that's mainly focused on one token, maybe two tokens, I'll always include the token here to say, Pepe, so in this example, I'm interested in this because this is the token that I'm interested in. So when we're talking about um, smart alerts for custom labels, if you're interested in a specific token, and, your, and the addresses that are interesting within that, you can set up a smart alert for everyone that has this Pepe label that you've created. So if you're seeing tokens being bought or sold, you can use that information to your advantage, which is pretty cool. And then we can say, look, add this wallet to our watch list, boom. And to drop it in the chat, it is, here we go. So there's some alpha there for you. So that's the address you wanna check it out we can see what they're doing. And then what you might want to do, as I was saying, is set up a smart alert. So smart alerts allow you to get real-time updates on an address or addresses on Slack, Telegram, or Discord. So then when they're making moves, you can see what they're doing and then use that information to get edge in the market. So you don't have to wait to see what people are saying. Crypto Twitter, you can see, hey, like this address has done this cool move. I'm gonna use this information to my advantage.